Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video we're going to be discussing mitral stenosis. So mitral stenosis is the narrowing of the mitral valve of the heart. So we can see an image here of a mitral valve which has been narrowed due to mitral stenosis. So the normal passage of blood is from the pulmonary vein into the left atrium, into the left ventricle by passing through the mitral valve, and then from the left ventricle into the aorta by passing through the semilunar valves. So, when we have a case of the mitral valve being thickened and thus the passage being narrowed, it leads to complications due to impairment of blood flow. So there'll be an accumulation of blood in the left atrium because it can't pass through the, well it can but less can pass through into the left ventricle. So less blood is going there, so blood is accumulating in the left atria. So this means that there's an increase in the atrial pressure which we have here in the left atrium and because we have more blood here there'll also be an increase in the pressure in the pulmonary vein. So the overall effect of mitral stenosis is an increase in pulmonary, um, pulmonary pressure and left atrial pressure. So the causes of mitral stenosis number one can be rheumatic heart disease. Now this is an inflammatory disease caused by streptoco streptococcus pyogenes and it results in inflammation of the valves and fibrinous repair. So the overall effect of rheumatic heart disease is thickening of the mitral valve. We also have calcification as another cause of mitral stenosis and this is an increase in calcium deposits around the valve and this can occur due to aging and the overall effect is thickening of the mitral valve and as a result would lead to narrowing of the passage allowing left atrial blood to go into the left ventricle. The third reason can be congenital and this is where a person can be born with a narrowed mitral valve. So what are the symptoms of mitral stenosis? We have dyspnea which is the feeling of impaired breathing we have orthopnea, which is feeling breathless when lying down. We have paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, which is severe shortness of breath and coughing at night. We have palpitations. This is an irregular heartbeat. We have chest pains. We have hemoptesis, which is the coughing up of blood. We have ascites, which is the accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity. And this is also known as abdominal dropsy. This is where the abdominal region looks uh, abnormally enlarged. So these are the symptoms of mitral stenosis. And that's everything I want to discuss in today's video of mitral stenosis. And I hope this video has been useful. And thank you very much for watching.